I actually got interested in neighborhoods because when I was in high school, I read a book uh, called Rebelly for Radicals. And the author of this book is a fairly famous man in the world of community organizing named Saul Alinsky. And Saul had written this book about his method of organizing a working class neighborhood in Chicago called Back of the Yards so that the people there were better able to make things better and to get the institutions outside to be fair, non-discriminatory, etc. And when I read that book about what he had done, I thought, now that's something I'd like to do. And uh, because he was in Chicago and I just happened to come to a university in Chicago, I was coming to the fountainhead of, of the then developing neighborhood organizing movement. So I began to associate with the uh, young neighborhood organizers that he had trained or was training. And uh, then when I got out of the service, I just came back and sort of joined that movement. But what really got me uh, into it was reading a book in high school that caught my uh, fancy. I suppose some people read books about architects and say, gee, I'd like to be an ar architect. But I read a book about neighborhood organizing and I said, gee, I'd like to be a neighborhood organizer. Uh, when I was a kid, the, uh, where we lived in a, in a little town, the library was a block away. And uh, there wasn't an awful lot to do. And so one of the things I would do in the evening after dinner was I'd go over to the library and I would uh, go read Popular Mechanics <laughs> and, uh, and magazines, but I also then began to read some of the books. And uh, the nonfiction books were all uh, alphabetical by the title, by the author's name. So I actually decided that I, I liked nonfiction. I didn't care much for the fiction that I would just start reading, reading all the nonfiction books. Everything seemed interesting to me. And uh, so Saul Alinsky's name, Alinsky started with an A, right? So he was in the A books, the ones at the beginning. Now, I think I actually got halfway through the Bs before I gave up on this project. <laughs> but the actual reason I got to that book is I knew nothing about it. I was just reading nonfiction books at a small library that started where the author's name started with A. So you want to talk about happenstance, that's it.